The road to the 2020 Kentucky Derby continues. It is Friday, April the 10th, and the first Saturday in May is now the first Saturday in September. I thought with a little bit of a break in the action before we run the Oaklawn Stakes on Saturday, we take a look back at the Equibase top three-year-old speed figures of the year. Now, the key factor when you look at the Equibase speed figures, uh, there's many different speed figures out there, including Bayer, Brisnet, Equibase, Ragazin, and a few others. But Equibase is one of the few that does not really allow for a lot of human manipulation. In fact, in a Pollock Report article, Equibase reported that 99% of the time there's no human intervention when calculating the Equibase speed figures. So let's take a look at those, starting with Tis the Law. He owns the highest speed figure earned by a three-year-old male in 2020, and that was back in the Holy Bull Stakes. He picked up a 117. Now, he did follow that up with another effort in the Florida Derby, but that is not ranked as one of the top speed figures of the year. Now, Authentic, his sham stakes was a 113. Right now, Authentic is was going to point for the Santa Anita Derby. If they run that later in uh, mid-May or so, then we will probably see Authentic in that race. Ette Indian ran a 113 when he ran second in the Holy Bull. So that was a strong performance. And then Solo Volante by Equibase owns a 108 Equibase uh, speed figure. And that rounds out the top five speed figures. Tizala, Authentic, Ette Indian, Solo Volante, and then Thousand Words had a 107 in the Robert Lewis and Nadal in the San Vicente. Now they do have a projection method for Equibase. That is how they calculate their speed figures. So a lot less human intervention, but sometimes when you do a projection, if the track does change over the course of the day, uh, they can adjust uh, even some of the route races since they card traditionally less route races. Uh, some of those you have to kind of use them as a guide to see what I would say to take out of this list is these are the top performances. It doesn't mean they're going to replicate those performances. It doesn't mean that they can't build off those performances. What I like to do is I will jot down what career start they picked up that speed figure. And a lot of times horses in their third, fourth, and fifth career start will pick up personal best speed figures and horses that have seven, eight, nine races, it's hard for them to max out and get up to their top speed figure. So a horse like Tizala with five races and that 117 earned in his fourth lifetime start, that's a good base to build upon. Now he's got the summer to kind of condense that speed figures and then hopefully uh, get a prep in, maybe the Travers if they move that date or one prep in before the Kentucky Derby on Saturday, September the 5th. Now, a horse like Authentic, again, he's only got three lifetime races, so you, you could potentially be looking at him uh, probably topping out at maybe even a, a race like a 120 or 122 in one of his next couple of starts. Uh, rounding out a look at some of those lists, uh, Ginobili, now there's an example. He came back and ran kind of a clunker, but he did switch surfaces and did shorten up in distance to nobly to six furlongs when he lost over the weekend at Oaklawn Park. High Velocity, another one who ran a nice race back in the Robert Lewis. I think he's capable of better. Uh, he was pressured in both of his races with his higher speed figures, so he probably can do better once you account for uh, pace and trip, possibly uh, projecting a better speed figure for him coming up. Independence Hall, of course, we saw his Sam F. Davis. He actually regressed in the Florida Derby off that 104. But again, the distance was longer that day. So he ran a 104 at a mile and 16th, a little bit less than that in the Florida Derby as he stretched out to a mile and eighth. So speed figures, you know, I think a lot of times people get locked into these being predictive. Really, they're more reflective and they indicate what they've done in the past, the number of races and how they're training up to a race and the pace of the individual race will determine their future speed figure. What do you like about Tis the Law's speed figure? Do you think anybody else is getting ready to set a career high speed figure in their next start? Leave a comment below. Remember, share this video as we take a look at the top three-year-old speed figures and lead you up to the 2020 Kentucky Derby.